Hello, Memorial Church family. As news and speculation about the coronavirus continue to escalate, and as it gets increasingly close to home, many of us are experiencing fear, uncertainty, and internal conflict. These are troubled times. But I also want to assure you that God is with us. Romans 8 says, For I am persuaded that neither death nor life, nor angels nor principalities, nor powers nor things present nor things to come, nor height nor depth nor any other creature shall be able to separate us from the love of God which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. Praise God. We are surrounded by love wherever we are, the love of God. Fear and anxiety can be crippling. It causes us to see the way forward as black and white, fight or flight, defy or cower, cancel worship in fear, hold worship in arrogance. As Christians, we are taught to step back from this and listen to the Holy Spirit to find a third way forward. Examples of this from Matthew 5 include turning, over, turning the other cheek, which invites uh, victims of violence to stand tall, going the extra mile, which allows us to expose oppression through radical service, and giving the shirt off your back which allows followers to uncover the harm of greedy legalism. So what is our third way in the face of the coronavirus and the fear? I awoke this morning with an empowering thought. Canceling worship isn't an act of fear. It is an act of collective love. We have a vulnerable population that we serve at our church. Yes, we're not a congregation over a hundred, but we love one another enough that we don't want to harm. Therefore, we can focus on ways to empower one another toward love in the face of fear. So there's three areas of love I want you to consider. Loving restraint, loving prayer, and loving connection. Loving restraint. We will be canceling worship and Sunday school. Leaders have decided to cancel second Saturday and the birthday carry-in at this time. Our love for one another would make it very difficult to fellowship in these ways while not touching and maintaining a six foot different distance. I'll work on videos such as this that we can um, continue to dig into the word together for our unique context and hear what God is saying in the midst of this. But I also invite you to find a live streaming uh, worship service if you are able. I know there's good ones out there. You can you can join, um, you know, uh, Ginghamsburg and Christ United Methodist Church for two just local ones. The next area is loving prayer. In times of crisis, we need our faith and faith community more than ever. I will be holding a prayer gathering on Sunday morning at 10.30 a.m. If you have no signs of sickness, you are welcome to join. We'll be sitting on the ends of the pews instead of right next to each other. We'll be preparing for this by sanitizing all common surfaces, including the pew backs. And we'll even have our own elevator man, Don Owsley, is going to wear gloves and press the buttons for us. If you feel uncomfortable gathering, please, Know that there is no pressure or judgment to come. We expect this to be a small gathering of folks. Perhaps you're at a higher risk or you simply wish to stay home for precaution's sake. There is nothing wrong with that. However, I do expect you to join us in prayer at home. So I've included a list of, of prayer topics that we can unite our voices as one as we cry out to God. And that's in our email that I'll send out here in a minute. The third avenue for love is loving connection. It's hard when you have to stay home to feel connected. It can be very isolating as many of our shut-ins know. Phone calls are a great way to remind one another that we may be physically apart, but we are spiritually entwined. So call one another, pick up the phone. If they don't answer, leave a message of love. Tell them that you're praying for them and thinking of them. We can also go the extra mile ourselves with one another. 
maybe somebody somebody wants to go grocery shopping for one of our shut-ins or maybe pick up library books for someone who is is self-quarantining be creative but talk to one another offer your care and allow people to serve you and serve one another but it also can't stop within our community there are so many ways that we need to be loving our neighbors. We are a light. We have the light of Christ in us. And we want to remember that we cannot then hide that light under a bushel basket, as the scripture says. So one uh, way that could be pretty easy for some of us is that the, the St. Patrick's Day dinner that the Lion Club's Lions Club hosts every year is going to go ahead. They're taking extra precautions, but the food is already there and it'll just go bad. So they're going to take extra precautions. And I think it would be great if we could go. If you don't want to stay and eat, that's perfectly fine. They are prepared to do lots of takeout orders. So we can help by supporting them. There are also families in our community who live paycheck, paycheck to paycheck. And the, the closings and everything really threaten their livelihoods. And I, I want us to network with one another. If you know someone who needs help, we have a benevolence fund that we can help them. And we, if you need help, we've got a benevolence fund to help you as well. I know Brian Bigness and Marguerite are already thinking about things that need to be done to make sure that people have food. Um, and we want to make sure that hungry children are fed. My prayer is that no one in our community suffers this season alone, but all feel connected, united, and loved by both Christ and Christ's family. So fear not. You have been empowered by Christ to love extravagantly with both wisdom and hope. Claim as often as you need the promise that you are not alone. You have nothing to fear. And in God's goodness, it will all work out in the end. If it's not working out, it's not the end. A couple years ago, we read that book by, by Max Licato, the, the book Fearless. I invite you to pick that up again if you have a copy and look it over. Remember to fear not, but love extravagantly. Please feel free to call me at any time if you need someone to remind you that you are not alone and that you are loved beyond measure. God bless and take care.